King was at Silver Birch Ranch and it was actually the Appleton Youth Retreat. We technically didn't really see each other when we first met. We shared the stage when we were reading a Bible verse and I just got up there, he got up there. We didn't know we, we were both up there at the time. You know, I just saw her on the corner on the stage and you know, it was, I just found it very courageous, you know. At that point in my life, I didn't know anyone that brave. And so when I saw a random stranger just show up in front of us, you she didn't know, it was just, it, it was the courage. It was after that that he approached me. He literally ran after me and he was like, hey, hey you. And my back was turned to him. Me and my sisters, we were standing and walking and we're like, who's that guy yelling, hey? And then we turned around and it was Ping and he approached me and he was just like, hey, that was pretty cool what you did. I was like, what did I do? He was like, oh, well, you went up on the stage and that was pretty cool because you're just a guest. You don't really know anyone yet. Um, so I found that really cool. I was like, oh, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's cool. He was pretty funny. I really like a guy who can make me laugh, so that got me liking him. On the ride back, leaving the retreat, we were on the bus. I was knocked out. I don't know how it looked. I was probably really ugly and drooling. And he was actually in the seat across from me or somewhere. And he was talking to my brother. Hey, is she single? <laughs> Um, can I talk to her? How old is she? And all this kind of stuff. And then it wasn't until we got off the bus and I felt like he was approaching me, but because I wasn't looking for a boyfriend at the time, I was just like, come on sisters, let's run away and like go real quick. <laughs> I know this guy's gonna approach me. Let's just pretend like nothing happened. He got my Facebook and he messaged me. He's like, hey, uh, sorry I didn't get the chance to say bye to you and stuff like that. So that was basically it. It started from there. Her overall demeanor, she's very sweet. She's very jittery, which kind of balances me out. And you know, she's got a beautiful smile. And I liked her hair a lot. I love how caring he is and how he doesn't keep track of my wrongs. <laughs> Cause I'm a very flawed person, which I feel like I really need that type of person in my life. And he's very giving and very loving. He's a family man always just willing to lend a hand. <laughs> I mean, I love you, you drive me crazy, but you bring me up, you do, you complete me, you make me happy, and you know, that's all I can really say. You're my best friend. Ping, you are my best friend. You are my keeper, and I trust you with all that I have. I know that sometimes I say I don't trust you, <laughs> but with everything that I have, uh, I do trust you and that's why I am willing to have you as my husband and I'm excited to have and see everything that God has in store for us and I can't, I can't wait to start it off.